Hi, I'm Paul Shelley. And whilst you may have heard more about the violoncello de Spalla lately, or may even be following along to myself or some of my colleagues who are making these instruments, the actual naming of the violoncello de Spalla is a very spurious thing that's happened over years. But the de Spalla part really only exists as a modern translation to make it clearer to people of this instrument because of the way it's been lost over time and is being reinvigorated. And because this style of playing has been lost in, in terms of position, it's now being kind of labelled as the violoncello de Spalla. Really, in music and in all the historical features, it was never denoted as de Spalla, it was just denoted as violoncello. And the range of cello would span from a size similar to this, all the way to a full-size cello, but just denoted as violoncello, and the players would know when they would pick out each instrument and each size for just determined by the music, determined on the setting and determined on any internal or external influences on the concerts they were playing. So I just wanted to bring that thought to you if you're looking through music and you're ever wondering to, you know, to try out what it might sound best on, how it complements the other instruments or how it fits with the music. It's a huge area of, you know, passion and there's so much exploring to do in it. I love finding new pieces and seeing people trying new, trying new pieces and just exploring different ways with it. So just want to bring that to you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you'd like to see any more videos, feel free to follow my page at Paul Shelley Violins and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Bye for now.